This is Bengals Nation with Coach Marvin Lewis, presented by TriHealth. It's a Bengals Nation. Welcome to Bengals Nation here at the Holy Grail. Jen Dalton alongside Bob Herzog. It was a tough week last week. You know, Didn't the like it, Jen. Bengals stumbled a little bit at home, but we are still in the driver's seat, and that's all we can ask for. You know, here's what we're going to ask for, is you to have a little fun with us tonight at Holy Grail. We're going to have so much fun. Of course, we're going to share the microphone. That's fun. You know what else is fun? Kevin Huber. He's fun. He's great. He's going to sign autographs over at the Eichler Golf Cars autograph table. Fun. We've got a great band, Argo Lynn. They're going to play over at the Bengals Nation stage. Fun. fun. Thank you. Also tonight, we've got the Bud Light football toss. Um, fun. Thank you. And finally, we've got Marvin's Must, brought to you by Northgate Mall, and there is nothing more fun. Could not be more fun. And you know who else is fun? Who's fun? Brad and Coach, and we're going to send it over to them. And you know, Brad, we lost to the Steelers, but we get another chance at them. Yes. And, and, and we are still first in the division. What more could we want? Fun. Thank you, Jen. Yeah, team's been in this position before, but they still hold the cards. They can do what they need to do. They've been there before as well. We'll talk about what went wrong with the Steelers, and we'll get ready for the Cleveland Browns. But first, let's send it back to the Holy Grail and Mike. All right, thanks very much, Brad. Joined tonight at the Eichler Golf Car Autograph Table by Bengals punter Kevin Huber. Kevin leading the AFC in average yards per punt this season. Could be headed to his first career Pro Bowl. Not bad, considering one year ago he finished the season on injured reserve. We'll talk with Kevin about his season and what he now needs to do as the weather is about to turn. All that and more with Kevin Huber coming up later in the show. Let's send it back to you. Mike, thanks. Coach, you know, we've talked about it a bunch of times, that the difference between winning and losing in the NFL is kind of razor thin. <laughs> razor thin. There can be one tipping point, the Dalton turnover. Do you buy that as a tipping point in the game as to what turned everything? Well, I mean, I think it obviously was a huge swing in the football game because we're in a position to drive the football with the lead, take time off the clock, uh, hopefully make a couple first downs, uh, at the minimum, punt the football down in their territory yeah. and then play defense again. And maybe we get a ball tipped in the air and we turn the tide the other way where we can go up more than one score. And, uh, and we didn't do that. We allowed the touchdown. We come right back. Uh, we get basically a four and out on offense. We have a, a, a get a great punt and then we allow the big play in the passing game. And then we follow that up with a three and out and a penalty and then the, a short punt and another touchdown. So, it was quite the domino effect, wasn't it? Yeah, I've uh, rehearsed it a few times. Yeah, obviously, I'll bet mind. you have. Well, more with the coach on the Steelers. we got to go through it. We'll do that a little bit later on. First, let's hear what the players have to say about facing the Browns. It's obviously a big challenge. You know, they're playing at home, uh, you know, and it's a, a must-win game for them. So um, it should be fun. It should be uh, exciting. You know, the, I'm sure the crowd will be into it the whole game, which, you know, makes it fun, honestly, defensively for sure. Try Health encourages you to enjoy the holiday season with these healthy eating tips. First, don't skip meals. Eat slowly and drink plenty of water. Also, drink alcohol in moderation only. Focus on maintaining your weight, not losing your weight during the holidays, and take a walk between dinner and dessert. Eat fresh fruits and veggies and enjoy your family. From our Try Health family to yours, celebrate merrier and live better. Time now to send it over to Brad and Coach. Ken, thank you. Coach, nobody around here likes losing to the Steelers. Uh, especially you, you look at it with perspective on that day, then you go through film. Defense seemed to be in wrong spots a lot of the time after you look at film. It w was that the case? Well, we didn't get to the right leverages, no doubt about that. We played the runs uh, some, you know, pretty much pretty well until key points at a 50-yard run uh, there in the third quarter. And, and those things transpired to get worse and worse. We had a couple we didn't fit right early in the football game, but we settled down and we played them right from that point on. And, uh, but then later in the game, obviously, we didn't fit things right, and, and that got us beat. You know things. You keep things from us. That's what coaches do. Uh, did you know a long time ago that Vontez Perfect wasn't going to be able to play out the rest of the year for you? Uh, no, no. We put uh, Vontez through the ringer. Uh, you know, he's seen... Uh, uh, we, you know, we took it to the limit of where you know, the best thing for his career uh, was to make this decision and shut him down for the rest. Uh, uh, you know, he went down kicking and swing, swinging as Vontez would. And uh, so uh, you know, this has really gone something that's gone through the limit. Uh, uh, even as, as of Sunday when he came into my office told me he was ready to play. Mm. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> You'd expect that from him. Yeah, so I mean, uh, you know, we, we've taken it as long as we could. Yeah. And the best thing for him, been agreed upon by 
two or three now different opinions uh, was to go ahead and shut it down for the year and, and get himself ready for his for the future. Yeah, this is a tough loss. Hopefully, it comes back better than ever. Um, you got Steelers again in a couple of weeks. You're going to be focusing on cleaning up mistakes. Were there any things that you felt really good about what you did right in that game? Well, I, I did. I, th I thought we we did some good things, and uh, we got to play better on third down. Obviously, they converted 50% of their third downs. I think they were three of. Uh, uh, eight in the first half, and then it ended up being 50% the rest of the way or better in the second half for the entire football game. Offensively, we had some runs that we hit up in there well. We pretty much protected the quarterback well uh, all day. We've got to still do better. We need to do better in all areas, and we got to score touchdowns uh, all the time. And then you can't, we knew going into the football game, we couldn't turn the football over. The team that was able to get turnovers had a great opportunity to win the football game. And, and that was probably the most disappointing yeah. thing is not coming up with any turnovers on defense. Okay. We'll break down the steers a little bit more in the team room. But first, let's send it back to the Holy Grail and Mike. All right. Thanks a lot, Brad. We're back here at the Eichler Golf Car Autograph Table with the Bengals punter, Kevin Huber. Of course, Kevin's having arguably the best season of his career, leading the AFC in, in both gross and net punting average. So why now? Why at this point in your career are you arguably having this, this great season? Are you in a zone? I mean, can it be that way for a punter, the way it is for other positions? Yeah, I think it definitely is. You, you get a feel for it, and I think when you start punting well, you, you kind of build off that. You gain confidence just like anything else. You know, golfer, they start hitting the ball well, they're gain confidence, start hitting the ball better and better and more consistent. Um, but a big part of it, play a big role in that is the punt team giving me great protection and you know, the gunners and the punt, the punt team getting out in coverage. Um, we've had a lot, of, a lot of great returners. The guys have been doing a great job of getting down there, crowning them, you know, limiting their yards on return, and uh, you know, just forcing, forcing a lot of, uh, a lot of plays. Well, you're humble about it, but you're really booting it too. Let's not forget that. Now, in December, do you feel the need to be dialed in a little bit more? Now, field position becomes so important. Now you're going to play in some wind. Some of that wind might be swirling, tricky to, to judge. Does it become paramount now? Especially this year, you know, three of our final four games are division games. And those games always come down to, you know, a couple points here or there. And to eliminate big plays for them to, you know, you don't want to give them any chance to get momentum. So I think, you know, it's getting good punts, um, good direction, just, you know, being sound on punt and all, all special teams is a, is a huge factor. All right, Bengals punter Kevin Huber is our guest here at the Eichler Golf Car Autograph Table. We'll have more with Kevin, the former UC star, coming up later in the show. That's Argo Lynn playing us out to break this week. Stay tuned here on Bengals Nation. A lot left to do. I'm sorry, but we've got to go through this. Brad and Coach, they're going to head over to the Telestrator. And Kevin Huber going to be taking some fan questions. What's the one piece of advice you would give a young player like me? It's all coming up on Bengals Nation. Welcome back to Bengals Nation, brought to you by Trial. Come on down to the Holy Grail at Cincinnati's home for all Bengals games with 30 HGTVs, surround sound, bucket specials, and great food. This is the place to be for all Bengals games. Your search is over. You found the Holy Grail. Time now to send it over to Brad and Coach with the final verdict. They're at the Elk and Elk Telestrator, guys. Jen, thanks very much. All right, Coach. I'm sorry, but we've got to go through this.